Hello, welcome to chapter three for healthcare in diverse communities. Really short chapter. In fact, just one slide over the chapter. Uh, basically, there's the idea that change is driven by leaders in this whole paradigm shift, that without leaders to drive it, it's never gonna happen. And you're gonna be those leaders to do it. Uh, visual affirmation, uh, that when you walk into a clinic that it reflects your culture or the culture of the audience you're trying to reach. Um, and so again, whether that's the art on the walls, the brochures, um, of course there's the idea of diversity where there's people who look like them in the office as well. Um, and that public health efforts, a lot of prevention activities are aimed towards these groups outside the mainstream, immigrants, non-native English speakers, low income, um, and basically trying to get their health up to the level of everybody else's. Um, and of course the chapter makes an argument that um, it affects the bottom line, that there is a business case for reaching new audiences who haven't been served before because as more people have insurance and we're able to pay, the business can make more money. Now, also as part of chapter three, I included an article about African Americans and their distrust of the healthcare system. So it's an interesting read, especially for a journal article. Um, basically that traditionally this group accesses healthcare a lot less than everybody else. Uh, it talks about three pieces of distrust um, historical, that just going back from the Tuskegee experiments on, that African Americans just don't trust uh, the healthcare system. Um, that again, there aren't minority providers. So they, they go in, there aren't people, there aren't culturally you know, accurate services. They don't have friends in the you know, who work in healthcare. They're just not familiar with it and it can be intimidating to people. And then of course, that there are fewer um, clinics in low income neighborhoods as access to care issue. Uh, and of course, all of these things lead to negative outcomes because if you don't go to the doctor regularly, you don't get diagnosed until later on there's less prevention. And at that point, you're trying to do disease management instead of uh, disease prevention. So looking at the assignments uh, for module two, uh, there's a poster you're gonna make. Um, and then there's a paper you're gonna write about the article. And then of course, you're gonna schedule your participation with me by September 15th. Thanks for watching.